It is 84 days till the man burns and today we're talking about face paints. Which ones are the best for Burning Man? And there isn't really a 100% clear answer to the question because there's many different types of face paints. They all have different properties and it can depend on what exactly you want to do. So this is more focused on kind of the smaller designs, not changing your entire skin color or things like that. So the first thing you absolutely want to avoid is using anything that is not designed to be used on your skin. So makeup is fine, you know, actual face paints, things like that, perfect but things like Sharpies or pens, acrylic paints, not, not suitable for your skin. I know that a lot of these things say they are non-toxic, but non-toxic does not mean it is designed to be used on your skin and used as a face paint, and people do suffer from allergic reactions, especially to acrylic paints. You should never put acrylic paints on your face. I'd also avoid the kind of crayon face paints. They're normally sold around Halloween. I have never got those things to work. The color just doesn't come out. They're really just not worth the money. I would avoid them completely. So the first thing is makeup. These are like liquid eyeliners. Liquid eyeliners are great because they come in a lot of different colors and they are quite vibrant and you know, they have small brushes. They're great if you want to do kind of liney designs or small dots, things like that. But the one thing to watch out for with liquid eyeliner is that some of them are very flaky when they dry and you definitely don't want a flaky one because your designs are gonna look terrible after a couple of hours once it's all flaking off, and all those little flakes are, are moot, so, you know. So if you're gonna use liquid eyeliners, make sure you test them out before Burning Man to make sure they don't have any flaking issues. But they are a nice choice. So next up, water activated paints. So with these, you just like spritz them with some water and then mix it with a brush and the water basically activates the cake and then you can just paint with it. Water activated paints are a great choice because the cake is solid until you activate it so you're not worried about you know dust getting in there and if dust does get in there you can just wipe off that top layer just spritz some water wipe it off and then you've got a nice clean cake to work with again. They're very easy to work with but it does take a bit of practice to figure out kind of how much water you need to use things like that. Some people prefer to dip a brush in water and then put it on the cake instead of spritzing the whole thing. If you're just doing you know lines dots those kind of designs then you know that's probably gonna work much better for you than spraying the whole cake and having a wet cake. But there are two different types of water activated paint. There is glycerin based, this one is a glycerin based one, and there is a wax based one, this is wax based. And I would say for Burning Man, wax based is probably the way to go. With wax based, you don't need as much water to activate them, the colors tend to be much more vibrant, and they tend to stand up a lot better to smudging and rubbing and transferring. The glycerin based paints are very good for blending. So, you know, if I wanted to paint myself purple and blend in like highlights and shadows, then glycerin is great for that. But wax based is great for doing line work and detail work. So again, it's something you're gonna to want to test out beforehand to make sure you know how to apply it, to make sure that the ones that you have, they're not like cracking or flaking or anything like that. With wax base paint, you do want to watch out. Some colors stain the skin quite badly. You do get the same with glycerin base, but to a lesser extent. So usually I have problems with the greens and the blues. They tend to stain my skin and it's very difficult to get off. I have heard really good things about Kryolan Aqua Color or Kryolan Super Color. There's a lot of people, if you look on the forums on ePlayer, you'll see a lot of people advising that. I haven't used them, so I don't know. But you know, when a lot of people are saying it's good, there's probably a reason they're saying it's good. So they're also worth looking at and giving a try. Okay, next up, cream-based paints. So these are already in liquid form. You don't need to mix them with anything. You can just use them straight out of the tub or the tube. So I prefer having pots of it that you can dip your brush into, but I think for Burning Man, the tubes might be better because you can just squeeze out however much you need and put the cap on and you're not worrying about dust getting into your pot of paint. Because with the cream based, if dust gets in there, it's gonna be quite hard to get it out. But cream paint can get very expensive because when you consider like with a cake, you're gonna activate that with water. So you end up with a lot more paint in this than you do in this. But if you're just planning to do small designs and things, then you know these might be more than enough paint for you to do that. And these are a great option if you don't want to mess around with things where you need to kind of mix the paint yourself or activate the paint in some way yourself. Again, test them out beforehand, see how they perform, make sure they are not flaky, see kind of 
how wearproof they are, how much they transfer onto your clothes, how easy they are to rub off, things like that. I have found that with these like small squeezy tubes of UV paint, some of the colors are not very strong. They don't really show up that well on their own compared to like a palette of water activated neons. But you can combat that by using a base color underneath. So, you know, if you wanted to use white, you could use a water activated paint or a cream paint to do the design and then go over it with the neon paint and then it will show up, you know, day and night. But it does depend on the color because, you know, like the blue is going to show up quite nicely because it is a dark color, whereas the white just, it doesn't really show up that well on its own. Be warned that with fluorescent paints, UV paints, neon paints, things like that, they are not internationally approved as a face paint, as a thing that you can put on your face. They don't meet the international cosmetic regulations. But many people still use them, I still use them. I would just avoid putting them anywhere too close to your eyes or mouth or nose. Stick to, you know, further out areas. Next up, grease paints. I would avoid grease paints completely at Burning Man. They are so heavy on your skin. They really, you know, it's like a, a layer and you have to set it with powder because it doesn't dry. So you're gonna be putting on, you know, a thick layer of greasy paint and a layer of powder. These really are for changing your skin color. You know, if you want to make your face completely white or green or something like the Wicked Witch of the West, then a grease paint would be a great way to go. But doing, you know, pretty face paint designs for Burning Man, this would, no, it would be terrible. <laughs> Next up, alcohol activated paints. So I would also avoid these for Burning Man. Some people might be tempted by these because basically they're completely solid. You put 99% alcohol on them and it activates the paint. You put it on your skin and then when it dries, the alcohol absorbs out and it goes back to being kind of solid but flexible. So the big appeal with these is that, I mean, they don't really come off on their own because you can only activate them with alcohol. Once they're on the skin, you need to reactivate them with alcohol to take them off. So they're not gonna transfer, you're not gonna sweat them off or rub them off. They're gonna stay put. They are great, this is what they use in films and stuff to do, you know, bruises, wounds, stuff like that. But the problem is, is if you're doing these like intricate designs, the amount of paint you're putting on is more than you would do for say bruises. And it can be quite difficult to get the like alcohol to paint ratio right so that you don't end up applying it so thickly that it just flakes off. And if it starts flaking off, it's moop, your designs are gonna look a bit rubbish and it's gonna be very hard to either remove completely or fix. Also because they're quite hard to get off because you need to use the alcohol to remove them. You could end up kind of stuck with that same thing for the rest of the week and you know, if it starts flaking, it's, you know, just, a pain. So I would say unless you are into, you know, body painting and special effects makeup, then I wouldn't use these for Burning Man. Plus these cost a pretty penny, like these are not cheap. Next up, oil-based paints. These suffer from the same problem as the grease-based paints. They are quite heavy. Because the formula is so thick, it's quite difficult to do detailed stuff with it. And you really need to set it with a powder because it is very, very smudgy. It rubs off very easily if you don't set it. Another thing I would avoid is powder paints where you need to mix it with something, usually a mixing liquid or glycerin. Sometimes you can get powder ones that you just activate with water. They're similar to the water-based ones, but you know, powders and Burning Man are just, it's not the best match because you only need a breeze to come and it's going to blow a ton of that powder away and that is moot. And if you are gonna go with metallics, make sure that you get ones that don't contain glitter. And some of them look like they don't contain glitter, but they do, and then when they dry, that glitter goes back to a powdery kind of state and will start just mooping off you. So check the labels of whatever you're gonna buy, test them out first, and make sure you don't end up with a paint that's you know powdery and you've got bits falling off of you. If you are gonna be using a new type of face paint, I would suggest getting like basic palettes before investing in larger cakes if you plan to invest in larger cakes. You know, for a lot of people, uh, just a basics palette like this is gonna be enough to just do small designs on you and your campmates for the week or, you know, maybe a couple. 
but I would get a basics palette first just so you can test them out, make sure you like the formula, that they don't flake, that they kind of stay put, they're not just rubbing off on everything or transferring or, or anything like that. And you'll want to test them to make sure that they work for you, that you don't have any kind of reaction to them. If you have sensitive skin, then you might find that some brands are just a bit too harsh for your skin. And you'll probably want to work out if there's certain colors that do stain your skin so that you know you can get barrier spray if you need to or you can you know bring something along that's going to help go th get those stains off so if you do end up with stains there are two great things that get rid of them you can put toothpaste on them and just kind of leave it on there for a minute and wipe it off and that will sometimes get rid of the stain or at least lessen it or you can cover yourself in like moisturizer i just have a huge cheap tub of moisturizer that i just use for getting face paint stains off because it gets stained a lot. With the moisturizer, you just apply a nice thick layer of it, and then rub it off with a towel. I find using a kind of old towel that's a bit textured or a tea towel, that tends to get the stains off better than you know using something more gentle like a baby wipe or makeup wipe. So my top picks would be some kind of wax-based paint, maybe some neons because I do love a bit of neon, and the Cryoland paints because I have heard really, really good things about them. If I do manage to get hold of some before Burning Man, I will try and update you guys on you know what I think of them once I've tested them out a bit. So I have done a couple of other face painting videos that might be useful for anyone that wants to face paint a Burning Man. There is one that's what to bring in your face painting kit and one that is about kind of just general safety and hygiene and just advice for doing it at Burning Man. So I hope this is helpful guys. If any of the rest of you have any advice on which are the best face paints for Burning Man or paints that you think you should just completely avoid at Burning Man, let us know in the comment section below. And if you see me at Burning Man this year, feel free to come and say hi to me. Bye guys.